a tourist goes on a trip and comes back and says where they've been. But an explorer goes on a trip and comes back and says, here's where I've been and here's what I learned. Fótspor ljósberans í myrkum mána fjöllum afhjúpa eðli mannsandans er glóir innra með okkur öll. When you're born out of your mother, that's when love begins to appear because up to that point you're simply dependent on your mother and you have no knowledge of your mother. But once you come outside, now you see your mother for who she is. I had a grandfather who uh, sailed the sea and, and I thought he was a pretty cool guy. What's it like for your grandkids to have a grandpa who actually walked on the moon? You went to space, as did your father. Do you think your kids will go to space? He says, look, you can't decide for our children. You know, that has to be a decision to make themselves. And my retort is usually the, no, 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 they're going to go. If I have to lock them in, close the door, lock it, and light that candle myself, they are going. From, from Dad's point of view, that job as a test pilot was the best job he could imagine. And that's what he's been wanting to do ever since he was 10 years old. So the decision to become an astronaut was not an easy one for him. Answer the question that they couldn't possibly answer on Earth is, where did the moon come from? Why is the moon there? I think we get to dig back into history, and then we get to say, why does this matter today? See this whole process as cosmic birth. They took that Earth rise, famous Earth rise photograph. Would you write this again? Not unless it was going to land on the moon. <laughs> And then suddenly you see that beautiful blue and white earth and you understand intuitively and immediately how special that earth is and that that's home, that's where we come from. We're <laughs> 